Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Future Stars Team 2 is finally here today, and with that, very high expectations for these cards coming today. Future Stars players, Future Stars icons in Team 2, the stats, the leaks are looking good, guys. They're looking very good, and the hype is there but how will all the content today and these new cards impact the game in objectives in evolutions with the midfielder academy evolution expected to drop today and also with SBC content what's going to happen to the market we're going to talk about all of that today and what to expect on a big friday of ultimate team if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new now before we get on to what's happening today let's talk about what happened yesterday very quickly with the season four act two mascot madness it's all about the mascots in this season this season i don't think there's anything super special to it you do have a couple of future stars cards in here you've got merlin at a left back for level five not a bad card he does have anticipate playstyle on his uh, card as well whipped pass plus a decent card right i don't think that's going to be used by all of us but some of us are excited for that one Yunus musa at level 10 i think they could have boosted this card up a little bit more um he only has a three star weak foot which is a bit unfortunate he's medium medium some of the stats look pretty good though it'll be a nice one to have especially if you're a fan of the usa and then if you go through the rest of the season here the packs they're okay i mean it's just pretty average right to be honest it's just pretty average with these packs we do have a couple interesting player picks though at level 15 you have the opportunity to choose a one of three future stars team one or a team two player or an 85 times seven i'm gonna say guys i think the 85 times seven is gonna be the play um the we know what these player picks you're gonna get a lot of the lower rated cards but if you want to take it if you want to degen for the gamble that opportunity is there for you also at level 20 you've got an 87 times four or the first i think it's the first 85 times 10 of the year uh so that is there 85 times 10 such a very popular pack that has been released, and we'll see a lot of it, of course, towards the end of the year. But that's at level 20, and at level 25, the very end of the season, we've got Thunderstruck Figo. We've got a one of three fantasy team one or two. We'll talk about that a little bit at the end of the video. EA literally just told us what the next promo is going to be foot fantasy or fc fantasy as we know it and then an 84 times 20 at level 25 probably go for the 84 20 if you're crafting an sbc but the fantasy one could be interesting as well again bit more of a degen gamble option a couple other packs in here i mean the packs aren't that amazing i mean they're good they're good but they're not like i don't feel like the packs are leveling up a crazy amount but it is kind of again a middle range season it's only 27 days long it's 25 levels so it's not going to be that hard to get the xp and it's going to fly by by the time we get to the very end so that was the season content that was dropped yesterday i think foot champs is still extended i don't think they updated any rewards for that or anything along those lines i haven't seen any news around that i guess we'll find out today for sure if foot champs is still extended to the same uh schedule that it has been and i believe that it is but i guess we'll just have to find out for sure today yesterday we did have a player sbc it was matthias sule from the syria the argentinian right wing he's got rapid plus incisive technical quick step and chip shot he is four star four star left footed and it's a decent card i mean obviously right away i see wow only 70 attack positioning and 70 vision that might be a little bit of a problem but it's cheap it's only 37 36 37 000 coins it's an 84 rated squad with an inform so it is very cheap if that card interests you we also had marquee matchups which interestingly enough gives out a mega pack that's a pretty solid pack for what we've had recently in marquee matchups um so if you want to go ahead and do that for a mega pack tradable that is there as well and there is actually some of the first xp that you can get it is in the store that is the only problem with it, it is in the store guys but it's under the seasonal tab you maybe have noticed these locked um objectives and then the future stars away and home one this is you have to go buy the kits in the store to get this done which actually right now i can't show you the store and i can't show you the kits because i have a card in my unassigned which i'm actually going to turn into an sbc really fast so i don't forget because i have the sbc built it is bruno fernandez we're going to finish this sbc live on stream and then we're going to talk about future stars boom okay that is like a lot of the fodder in my club but shout out to the 85 double and the 84 times five for this week i didn't start this sbc until like three days ago and with the 84 five and the 85 double along with the 80 plus player pick I mean, we got Bruno done so easily, um, and I'm glad that we'll be able to have him in our squad for foot champions, which is very, very nice. But those kits are in the store if you want to get that XP. I'm not going to spend, uh, I think it's like 75 or 80,000 coins to get that XP. Not for me. But if that is something you want to do, that is 
there. Now, let's start with the news that actually started yesterday, but it really pertains to today. Guys, Future Stars Team 2, we were first kind of shown some official stats on the loading screen. We think we know who these cards are. Obviously, on the left, it is the leaked Zaire Emery. And that card looks absolutely juiced. We have official stats for that card that I'll show you in a second. They did a madness on that card. One of the reasons why we're excited for the cards coming into packs today and how much EA is boosting them. And then on the right, it's almost undoubtedly Zico. It's a plus one, right? A lot of the icons are plus ones over their most recent recent promo version. And uh, that would be a simple plus one for his card as well. Some people are shouting Rivaldo in this. I don't believe it's Rivaldo. I think it's going to be Zico, but we'll just have to see. Now, for the cards coming today, we have a massive list of players, guys. This is a massive team of players that is coming today, including the icons and the regular players. Now, I will tell you right now, of course, Sule was dropped as an SBC, so he is not a part of this list. And I do believe that there could be objective and SBC players involved in this list and also a mini release. So I'm not expecting to see all of these players drop today. I also do believe that one or two maybe of these icons could be SBCs in the next week as well. So they might not all be in packs today, but these are all the leaked cards for Future Stars Team 2, of course. Zidane, Zico, uh, the Rivaldo, the Carlos Puyol, Cannavaro, Baggio was leaked yesterday, Nedved's a new one, Beckham, so, uh, Smith, and then of course you go to the main squad, Cold Palmer, Hoyland, Zaire Emery, Rico Lewis was leaked yesterday, Salma, Parloello. This card's going to be cracked, all right? That card's going to be insane. Nico Williams, look at the pace in this team. Like, how many cards have 90 pace or above? Hemp, Basha, Palmer, Hoyland, Zaire Emery, Rico Lewis, Salma, Nico Williams. Like, almost the entire team, guys, has above 90 pace, except for probably center back Kiwior from Arsenal. Diakite from a League One right back position is also a new card as well. And I believe there's even some other cards that are not on this list that are shown here uh, that Foot Sheriff tweeted out. Uh, for a couple more players that might be included in this promo as well. But we also have some official stats, and that's what I want to get into as well. This is why we're continuing to be hyped for this Future Stars team too. These are the official stats, the official card for Cold Palmer as it has been leaked. Finesse Plus and Quick Step Plus, 91 rated. He's going to be expensive today, guys. Look at the state of that card. 94 pace, 90 shooting, 88 passing, 91 dribbling, and 85 physical with those play styles. That card's going to be expensive, but absolutely insane. So Chelsea fans, you're going to have to get some coins to try out that card. Zaire Emery is also a leaked card from the loading screen. These are his official stats and playstyle pluses and the dynamic press proven with technical plus. This card, like that is team of the season level. 90 dribbling, 90 pace, and 80, 85 and above in every stat except for shooting. That card looks freaking nuts, man. With the PSG, with the French links as well. He's going to be very expensive today as well. And that's why the hype is continuing to build for this promo team. We've got the official Hoyland stats too, guys. I think this card looks pretty solid. Right away when I saw this leak, I automatically thought of Shevchenko. Because he's got the same play styles pluses that Shevchenko does have. But I will say he does beat out Shevchenko in physicality. He's six foot three. remember? Hoyland has the Ultimate Dynasties card like we've talked about with Finesse Plus. I was not expecting the new Hoyland to get Finesse Plus. Um, like none of his other items have that. The Inform doesn't have it. His base cold card doesn't have it. So this one having Finesse Plus, I think, was a little bit of an illusion, to be completely honest. But they're giving him Power Shot Plus today, and they're giving him First Touch Plus. But 4-star, four 4-star, four maybe they upgrade the weak foot. Who knows? High, high work rates, mostly lengthy. He is going to be an absolutely nutty card. I mean, especially if they were to give him Power Header or Aerial, since he's a bit taller. He could be very, very good for headers. He's already got 96 heading and 95 jumping and 90 strength on this card. And he's getting plus 5 physical today. I mean, that shooting is going to be incredible. His dribbling is going to be pretty solid as well. This is going to be a nuts card. I think it's going to be pretty expensive too. But he's 89 rated. So will he be a little bit more packable, kind of like Arda Guler? Or will he be a little bit more rare like Boniface, right, from last week's team? It's really going to be interesting to see how the pack weight works on some of these cards. Now, that's the Hoyland card that we have official stats for. I believe we have official stats for Rivaldo as well. Center attacking mid. He's got flair and power shot. And he's got all 90s in the pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling categories. That card looks, like, solid. That looks really, really solid. Now, the one thing to, to think about is he needs the weak foot upgrade. He already has an Ultimate Dynasties card this year, the big bro version of Ultimate Dynasties that has the weak foot upgrade. So I'm hoping that this one does as well. And let me quickly go find 
those other uh, tweets from Foot Sheriff about those couple more cards that were leaked. Oh yeah, Olise is coming as a Future Stars player as well. Like, wow, what a last minute addition. Now, I don't know why he's shown here as West Ham. He's obviously Crystal Palace. But that is a crazy card as well. I mean, those stats are predicted. But Elise is a huge, huge name to get into the promo team today. And here's a couple more. Xerxy. Like, guys, when I'm telling you that this promo team looks massive, like, this, there's like 20-something players that are leaked. This is unbelievable how many cards have been leaked. Here's a few more. Nets as a left back from the Bundesliga. Letizier from Manchester United women's team as a center back card. You've got Milo from uh, Stuttgart as a French center attacking mid. Probably going to be one of those cheaper cards for sure. And then Pacho from the Bundesliga. A lot of Bundesliga love. Um, you might remember his card from, I think it was called the Level Up promo at the end of FIFA 23. He had like a 93 rated card. Remember we had to go play all those games to level up those cards. He had a cracked card then. Looks like he's getting another promo version now. It's uh, it's crazy, honestly. Um, how many cards are leaked to be in this team and how many cards are going to be coming out. And with the stats, the official ones that we have seen, guys, like there is genuine hype for this promo team today. We just have to, I think we have to manage our expectations a little bit, guys. That's the only thing that I have to say today. Like there's a lot of hype, but also there's expectations for it to be super crazy hyped. And we kind of touched on it in yesterday's video a little bit that if these cards come out today for Team 2 and they have a lot different pack weight than Team 1, like, of course, guys, for the past week, we've been packing Future Stars left, right, and center. All of these, even guys like Harvey Elliott, but especially the fodder cards, like, I'm sure you're tired of packing Gurma. I'm, I'm sure you're tired of packing Bisek and cards like that. Is that going to be the same? Are they going to have the same pack weight for this team too? Or is EA going to change it because it looks like they're boosting more of these cards up a little higher? That's the question that I have. So if our expectations are not met today, guys, because our expectations are high, and a lot of times when the community has high expectations, sometimes we blow things out of proportion. But we do see those cards, and it's like, it looks really good. I think it comes down to the pack weight today. As I just mentioned, it's going to come down to how packable these cards are. I'm saving up a couple of packs. I'm going to do the rest of my 84 fives and 85 doubles and save them for today. But what I want to closely watch for is to see for especially some of these store packs, like, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe we'll watch like a deluxe 86 plus or one of these store packs that came out last Friday. I think there was a, is there a 400 K pack? I think this came out last Friday on the content drop, 81% chance of a future star. So we'll remember that number 81% from the future stars, super giant pack. And if that pack is out today on Friday for team two, we'll have to see how close the percentage is from 81%. Now, granted, there probably wouldn't be a mini release in packs, but we'll also be able to tell like 5, 10, 15 minutes after the content drop live on stream today, we'll be able to see how supply these cards were. Remember last week, Harvey Elliott dropped down to like 150K in the first five minutes. And I was like, what? That's a crazy card for 150K, right? We were used to everything being so unpackable. It was a surprise that there was so much supply in the market. We're going to be able to tell today how packable these cards are especially as we look at the market. And a lot of you guys are probably saving packs and player picks as well. We're going to get a real good sense of how things are going to be today very shortly after content. And if they do mess with the pack weight and make these new cards less packable, that's going to impact the market, which we will talk about in just a second. One quick card that I forgot to show you official stats for is Mukoko. EA actually tweeted this out themselves. This one looks like it's going to be a cheaper one, in my opinion. But he's got Acrobatic Plus and Technical Plus with 91 pace, 88 shooting, 89 dribbling and 80 physical. So that is a very, very solid card for Mukoko. Now let's talk a little bit about SBC content that is coming today, guys. This is the only, I think, one of the only SBC players that has been leaked so far. And especially an SBC player that has a big enough name, big enough hype to be like a Friday type of SBC, right? Last Friday, of course, we remember who the SBC players uh, was, right? It was Claudia Pina, women's Barca team, an SBC that so many people did, such a cracked card and such a great price. Can Hemp live up to the hype is my question. If she is our SBC player today, which in my opinion, I think she will be. Hemp had a Thunderstruck card earlier on this year that was very, very hyped um, because it had Whipped Pass Plus. And I'm going to look up that card right now, kind of show that to you guys. Maybe you remember using it, maybe you don't. 
it was a really good card and it got hyped up especially her gold card even got very hyped up early on in the year for that whipped pass plus very good dribbling stats high high work rates like 92 dribble 94 pace on a 90 rated card this hemp that could be released today could be pretty crazy now again this is a thunderstruck card that was a live item so will ea go above this in rating i hope so will they give her two playstyle pluses i hope so um we need that we need a weak foot upgrade as well for this to be a really good SBC today. So I don't know how much that's going to cost. I don't know if it's going to be as good value as last week with Claudia Pena, but I think that might be our SBC today. Watch out for City Links. You guys remember what happened last week? Not necessarily that Barca Links went crazy high with Claudia Pena, but I just think that there could be some City Links if that SBC is good. It would move up in price a little bit because there would be a lot of hype for those completing the SBC. Now, other cards that are leaked that could come out today in objectives. Savio from Girona is also leaked as an SBC slash objective player. That seems more maybe objective-ish to me, but I'm not entirely sure how that will work out. Um, I would expect to see an objective player today 100%. That's something we see every single Friday as well. And maybe there's a small chance that he would be our actual player SBC. We'll have to see. But I think Hemp is the biggest name out of all the leaked SBC players. Unless we were to get an icon today, um, I guess there's a chance of that as well as our Friday player SBC, like a Future Stars icon. And as of right now, we don't know who is actually going to be an SBC, except that we know it's potentially going to be either Carlos Puyo or Cannavaro as a center back. There's two center backs that are leaked, and I think one of them is going to end up being an SBC. So... We'll see. That's the SBC content for today. There's not a hero pick or maybe the hero pick is refreshing again. I don't know if it is, though. Um, maybe like the other gamble pick is refreshing. I have not kept track of the, the picks this week. The player picks. Let's see. Is the 87 plus? No, the 87 plus does not refresh until Saturday. So for fodder wise today, there's not really a lot that makes me think that fodder is going to go up. The 85 double is going to refresh today. The 80 plus player picks are still here in SBCs. We'll probably get a brand new 83 plus team of the week as they refresh that every Friday. So I'm not expecting fodder to move a lot based off of a gamble pack upgrade pack SBC. It would really be it would have to be an insane player SBC with some sort of requirement that is very specific to make fodder move. Other than that, I think it's going to end up dropping now. Let's talk about the big place of content today that's going to impact the market a lot more for sure, and that is evolutions, evolutions, however you say it. We are expecting, guys, today the final two, hopefully, right? They gave us two attackers. They gave us two Defender Academy Evos. We're expecting the Future Stars midfielder Evo today in the Academy design. Now, we actually have the official requirements, which it's not like a crazy leak because we kind of already know how this is going to work, right? EA is going to give us a pack of 10 different midfielders, and we're going to be able to choose two of them to put into the two Evos to create boosted midfielders. I'm really curious to see the, the playstyle pluses, right? For the attackers, the playstyle pluses were okay. For the defenders, they were better. For a midfielder, you're like, okay, when we're talking about playstyle pluses for a midfield player, like, you look at the options, you're like, okay, incisive pass, ping pass, long ball, tiki taka, whipped pass, maybe a couple of ball control, maybe a ball control playstyle plus. Like, if they give press proven today, like, that's going to be pretty good. Um, I could see them giving, like, first touch plus and maybe, like, long ball. Maybe, I don't know, they don't like to give out tiki taka a ton or even incisive. We'll see. I hope they do something good today with this Evo for sure and pick good players because that's part of the hype as well, right? They've been picking good players. I hope they continue that today. But one thing I do want to point out is with the specific pace passing and dribbling requirements that EA have put out, I know some of you guys maybe were even saving Adina and Bimbe or any of the other Evos. Maybe you weren't starting just yet to see who would fit into the midfielder one today and if there was any overlap, kind of how like the defenders can fit into this, into this attacker Evo, like Sergio Gomez can fit into the attacker one. With the stat um, requirements that EA have put in there, it looks like none of them are going to be able to cross over into the midfield Evo today, which actually gives me a little bit more hope that it might be the best one yet if they're not letting any of these cards fit into it because they say we have a specific set of players that we wanna fit into it. So that's where a lot of the hype is today, for sure. I would be staying away from midfielders on the market because as we saw last week with attackers and as we saw on Sunday of last week with the defenders, I would expect to see prices dropping on the middle to lower tier of midfielders and even maybe on some of the middle to high tier as well, just because people are going to say, oh, wow, this midfielder that they dropped from this Evo looks to be better than what I have in my team. I'm going to sell it and go use the new card. So 
With all this coming, especially the big Evo, the cracked cards today, and especially with the pack weight of Team 1 being so good and people expecting that for Team 2 as well, what's going to happen to the market today, guys? I think everybody's expecting it to crash because of how good the content looks, how much hype there is. And, uh, you know, I, I think there's real reasoning to think that the market's going to drop today. But, guys, I have to say, I think the market's going to actually drop some this morning before we get to the content drop because of this hype. Because of the hype and everything anticipating ahead of this promo, I think people are going to start to sell off. Maybe not necessarily these future stars that are going out of packs, but I think you will see some dips around the market on maybe other promo cards, maybe a couple Road to the Finals, Team of the Year honorable mentions that have been dropping. I could see some of these falling back down again this morning on Friday, even with the start of Foot Champs and Weekend League, because people are trying to get out of cards before content today, expecting a crash after content. And yes, today's content could be really good, right? If all of these cards that get dropped, especially with the stats that they have, are in the same pack weight zone as Future Stars Team 1, then there's going to be some more market drops. Even some of the cards from Team 1 of Future Stars might drop off a little bit, especially with the Evo. But also, guys, if everybody is selling ahead of the content drop today what does that mean that everybody is going to be buying after the content drop on something right whether they're waiting to buy until later after they watch the market drop from all the content or if they start buying like shortly after content i just feel like this means a really good opportunity to trade a really good opportunity to maybe buy some cards around the content drop or maybe a little bit afterwards to see some prices maybe go back up as people go back out and play foot champs and play weekend league and stuff like that because whenever you have a lot of selling before a friday promo and especially today especially if the content does not excite if it's an okay sbc if the evo is good but we're, we've seen it now that this is the third time right if it's just good and not like omg wow type of grade then I do feel like you could have some really good opportunities on the market today to buy some specific cards, some rare out-of-pack specials, probably the strikers and defenders would be your best shout because, again, the midfielders might be hurt a bit because of the Evo. Also, goalkeepers, right? I would shout goalkeepers. It doesn't look like we're getting one today. If there's any panic on goalkeepers, buy it if it's reasonable panic because those cards are in very high demand as there's been no new ones released. So I would definitely shout out that as well. But all I'm saying is, if you're somebody who likes to trade on the market a lot, just watch the market today because there will be plenty of movements. Like, I just frauded not bidding on this Griezmann for 300 and whatever thousand coins. Like, this is a card that I sold earlier for 470. There are deals out there, okay? Like, even this 444 Griezmann kind of tempts me. Okay, no, it doesn't. But, you know, there's deals out there on the market. There are lots of them. This draw, Felix was 501 on stream yesterday. He's 550. So, if there's panic today, I think if you find a rare card, you're going to be able to flip it because people will be going out and playing games. And especially if you want to trade with any of the new cards, one thing that I did last week, you guys maybe remember seeing me flip icons and the Future Stars cards that were in packs for the new team. These cards are going to be fantastic to trade with. People are going to be going out on the market today and buying these cards. I would not buy them straight away. Again, I would wait to see the supply hit, kick in. A lot of these cards last week, if I remember, um, like Harvey Elliott and Goulet just dropped, 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 dropped for hours. And then they went up a little bit into Saturday. Then they dropped a bunch more on Saturday, you know, and it was just kind of like that sort of thing while people were still using them, but their supply was so high. But then other players, like remember last week I flipped Lauren James, I flipped the Boniface, Doku, Balde. It's like part of the team's really expensive and unpackable. And the other part is like really packable and super cheap. So focus on those more rare cards. And you can also like lazy list. Like last week, I remember buying Arda Goulet for like, I think it was 85,000 coins and selling him for 117K when his price never went above 100. I sold multiple cards for 117K last week on Saturday, even though his price never actually got there because there was so much hype for the new cards. People wanted to try them. They were just buying the first price that they saw when they searched up the market. So those cards will be very good to trade today. Team two of the Future Stars promo, but I want to wait and see how much supply they have before we actually go out and start getting onto those on the market. And I want to talk about fodder one last time as well. I don't see a reason why fodder is going to go up today. I really don't. Um, unless there's a leak before content that a big SBC would be incoming, I don't see a reason for this to go up. I do think, though, that this weekend, at some point, will present an incredible time to invest in fodder. An immaculate investment opportunity because we should have an icon player pick coming out on Sunday once again. And fingers crossed, an expensive, good, 
big time, actually, we'll say it, icon and player SBC to craft. I mean, we're, I feel like we're a few weeks removed from all the big icons. We were talking about that yesterday. Feels like we're due another one. Don't know who it's going to be, but I feel like we're due one soon. So watch out for that today. I wouldn't be buying this fodder unless I see something happen before content um, and even probably not buying until after content because you know what? There's going to be a lot of supply today as well. And a lot of people are getting fod fodder, excuse me, untradeable from all the packs and the menu grind that is available on this game right now. So that's kind of the state of the game for today. It's going to be a wild one. There's a lot of expectations. I hope EA deliver. The last thing to talk about is we are getting a player SBC today before content. It's going to be Diogo Jota, player of the month for the Premier League in the month of January. And I don't know how this rating is going to be. I hope EA give him a nice boost and make it pretty cheap. He's going to be five-star weak foot as always. His base card is. I don't know if they're going to give him two playstyle pluses. I would doubt it. But if EA is going to drop uh, some good content, maybe they would do that as well. We'll see. Diogo Jota is one of their favorite cards because he loves playing FC, loves playing Ultimate Team. And, you know, they've included him in all sorts of media stuff before. So hopefully they juice his card up a bit. We'll have to see how much that costs, though, for an SBC today that should come out early. And then also, as you kind of noticed, EA kind of mentioned in the objectives, right, that foot fantasy or FC fantasy is the next upcoming promo. We'll talk about this a bunch more next week, guys. But this is the official card design for FC Fantasy this year. Uh, Two-team promo and the heroes are coming as well. This is the official design once again. And I think if I remember correctly, in previous years, um, the design actually changed. I think it was the first year that we had these cards. The design changed when they got upgraded. I don't know if that's going to happen again this year. Very simple design compared to some of the other ones that we have had. You just kind of have the crystals. You have like the blue, a little bit of the you know graphics in the background. Very simple design. Looks clean. I'm, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's decent. And then this is the hero design as well. Again, similar, but a bit of a different color. And of course, has the hero insignia up here at the top with the, the, the ball, with the, the crown. That's the hero kind of symbol in this game. And a little bit extra going around here around the side. So not too much to talk about with that um, because, of course, it's not for a few days yet. But those leaks are already out and we have that news and info because EA also talked about it inside of the game. So Hoping for a big day of content today, guys. I'm excited for it. I've got packs saved. Player picks are out all weekend. 84 fives again going away, but the 85 double is refreshable. So good luck if you're opening packs today. We'll be doing it all on stream today. Opening packs, watching the market, having a blast, look at the new content. If you want to do and get involved with that, that link is down below in the description. I will see you guys there in a Twitch stream today. If you enjoyed this video, though, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's Nate for the count. See you guys in that Twitch stream today. Peace.